Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Allison Bowen. She is the SVP of Marketing for Data Novax and the CEO of Alcatex, and a three-time Data Cloud Global Awards judge. Allison, such a pleasure to have you here today. Welcome. Absolutely, I'm thrilled. <laughs> Yes, uh, we're here to talk about some breaking news on the future of data centers, particularly in the state of Texas in the United States, even though we're here in France, but it's a global announcement. So why don't we kick it right off with uh, talking about this launch of Data Novax, and it's built to suit data center campus in Pioneer Park. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, I, I'd like to say wee oui, wee. Oui because, you know, we are in France, right? <laughs> oui, oui, bonjour. But, uh, no, it's so exciting for us to have this opportunity to talk with you about that and the Data Novax um, data center in Wichita Falls, Texas, uh, just a short distance from the DFW footprint. So we lean into that as a, the DFW alternative. You know, it's getting kind of crazy out there with the power availability in Texas. So what Data Novax that does that's so exciting is not only are we bringing um, 150 megawatt is our face uh, to at this point for the availability, but um, we're accessing the amazing West Texas uh, sustainable power grid as well. So it's a, it's kind of like a beautiful little story there for, for Data Novax, and I love it. Well, congratulations yeah. on that exciting news, uh, up to 150 yeah megawatts that campus will go to. Yeah, absolutely. So we're, um, you know, thrilled to, to be talking about that while we're here in beautiful Cannes and, yeah. and, you know, see where everything goes. It's, it's such an exciting time in the industry to see, you know, when we were talking a couple of years ago, 30 megawatt, 40 megawatt, 50 megawatt. Right. Now, you know, we're just saying 150 megawatt. Right. Oh, you know, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, some critical power needed. Uh, absolutely. Definitely space and power mm -hmm. needed in that region for sure. Oh, yeah. So while we're talking about that region, we're seeing a lot of overall significant investment there. What makes this region so attractive to data centers uh, providers? Yeah, I think that I know there you talk about different markets, you know, Virginia obviously being the hottest and DFW, I think I always see it as like number two usually. And, but we're about to outgrow ourselves in the right. DFW air, area. So it's going to migrate a bit out and it might migrate one way or the other, but um, Wichita Falls is still part of North Texas. So that's the beauty of that whole area. Right up the road, there's some exciting things going that they have plugged as the Silicon Prairie in the Sherman, Texas area, where TI has built this enormous wafer manufacturing plant. So that has gotten a lot of PR and buzz lately about what's going on. And that, so that's, it's like a triangle. You have the DFW, you have the Silicon Prairie, and you have Wichita Falls. And then the beauty, again, of Wichita Falls is getting to pull from the West Texas sustainable power, um, you know, wind generation, solar, all that that's available. Um, so from the cost perspective and the availability perspective, it's kind of an awesome, you know, like story. So. Definitely is, especially with the sustainable power. Yep. Here at JSA, you know, our Greener Data Initiative, yes. we're all about... Um, providing greener data yeah. and helping the industry come together to find ways. So yeah, that absolutely. investment there seems pretty critical, um, especially like you said, we're running out of power all yeah. over the country and it seems like there's available power there. Thanks for sharing that story. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about being a judge for the most prestigious awards in our industry. Yeah. Uh, the Data Cloud Global Awards, which is just tomorrow night. I know. So exciting. Everyone's so. talking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're super excited here to be a part of that. And as a three-time judge, so first of all, congratulations. Thank That's you. such an honor. Thank you. And I know so many of our viewers uh, would love to know a little bit more details about what goes into judging some of those award submissions. I'm sure we're seeing thousands of them. Um, and each year they continue to grow. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about what goes into that uh, selection process as a judge? Yeah, well, I'm pre-gaming with my sparkly jacket, but uh, besides that, I'm so honored. Honestly, every year that they ask, I just, 
I'm over the moon. Um, it involves waking up at three o'clock in the morning. So because you have people from all over the world judging the categories. And so, you know, no big deal, but still a right. <laughs> couple of late nighters uh, on that. And really, it's such a great group of people. Some of them um, have been doing this for, you know, three years and five years. And so honestly, they put a lot of effort and a lot of due diligence into, you know, doing the selection process after the nominees happen. And really just looking for the unique um, situations and solutions, especially my favorite category is on the sustainability side of things. And so my, what I wind up judging is of course in the North American region, obviously for obvious reasons. And I, and I just love it. And so I read through, there is a funny little thing, um, that was happening on our, our conclusion and it happens every year. They're like, so-and-so, so-and-so, oh, Alice, did Allison give them a five? <laughs> Because I'm always like a more higher, you know, like uh-huh. I'm like, oh, they get a five. Oh, they get a five. Oh, they get a. <laughs> so, but you do have to, you know, kind of read through and understand. But uh, especially if anyone is doing really amazing, sustainable, energy efficient solutions, that's the kind of stuff that really gets me. And so there's a, there was a few and I know some of the winners. So, yeah. <laughs> I know you can't share. So. We already asked, but uh, we'll have to stay tuned for tomorrow. So JSA will be uh, providing some real-time updates from the Data Cloud Global Awards uh, ceremony tomorrow night. But how does that uh, leadership with the Data Cloud Global Awards align with your role at Data Novax? Well, it really is about knowing what's available out there. Right now, you know, the two-tier markets, what they call, um, somebody called it a data desert, and I kind of thought that was an amazing analogy that we're kind of trying to, or I've heard it called a regional data center footprint, right? And and just really, you know, having the knowledge that there's choices out there, it's still in this, the DFW North Texas region that have power and availability is really important for us to, to be out here talking in can about data Novax and what they've got going and, you know, and the Pioneer Park, which I, I love that, that we've decided to and by the way, your team helped us to coin that phrase. So I loved it. Yeah. And uh, I know. <laughs> shout out to Laurel. So. Shout out to Laurel. We love you, Laurel. <laughs> so. Yes. Amazing. And we understand, obviously, you are a subject matter expert in sustainability, particularly immersion liquid cooling. Yeah. Uh, so why don't you talk a little bit more about that and what impact this technology has on data center builders, operators, and the industry as a whole? Yeah. Well, um, you know, I always hear this. Uh, said, and I think we all can relate, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, right? Yes. So we've been designing data centers, blowing a lot of air for 40 plus years. And I think with the new, you know, just to say the word AI, it seems like such a broad stroke, but we understand that those densities are something we can't cool with air. So we have to start looking outside of the box for energy efficiency, for goodness sakes. And we have to do better. My job and my mission statement now is to build a better data center. And um, the future of the data centers involves liquid and immersion cooling technology. And so um, I think that's where I lie. And I I am definitely a single phase immersion cooling um, subject matter expert. I am the Shell brand ambassador for their single phase fluid, Shell Corporation. But really it starts to open up the availability for us to not just waste a lot of energy on cooling, um, you know, when we don't have to now, not, it, go, and I always say air's not going away. We know that, right. but there are applications and, and opportunities where we can do it better for certain solutions. And that's where I kind of live and breathe. So it's my, it's my passion a little bit. So I think more than a little bit, maybe a little bit. Yeah. So the mission statement is to build a better data center. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Allison, thank you so much for joining us today yeah, uh, here on JSA TV. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I love that. If you uh, are interested in uh, power availability in the DFW area, your DFW alternative um, is Data Novax. So, <laughs> Data Novax it is. Yeah, I love it. And what's the website? Uh, www.datanovax.com. Yeah. So, pretty simple. <laughs> so, viewers tuning in, uh, be sure to visit datanovax.com. Thank you so much for joining us. A pleasure to have yeah, one of the you. most prominent leaders in our industry today. 
Alison Bowen. Thank, Thank you, you so too. much. And let's uh, stay tuned for those Data Cloud Global Awards. One of the judges here uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, I know. Yeah. To walk the red carpet. So I brought some comfortable shoes, though. So, yeah. Because <laughs> I think we're going to do some dancing afterwards. So I, I don't hope know. So. <laughs> I think we'll be celebrating many of the many leaders of such great achievements yeah. uh, here in 2024 at the Data Cloud Global Congress. Viewers, thank you for tuning in to another episode of JSA TV live from Cannes. Thank you. And happy networking. Yes.